Hey everyone, Reminiscible here. Let me tell you about my day. So an hour ago, June 24th, 2018, I want to watch some Twitch TV mm, streamers offline. I watched the video instead. Video doesn't load. Or it loads, but the frame rate, all I can see is the thumbnail. Like, you know when you're in the play bar and there's like these thumb bars every, uh, thumbnails every 10, 30 seconds? That's all I can see. That's my frame rate is one frame per 30 seconds. <laughs> there's no sound. So I get on uh, YouTube and I'm like, uh, I'll watch a video on YouTube about about this new game. And uh, the progress, it buffers, it loads, and then no video, no sound, no frame rate. I'm getting one frame rate every 15 seconds. It's terrible. What is wrong? So I, so I, so I, so I look at YouTube and they're like, hey, you might be experiencing a problem with your YouTube player. Here's what can help. Oh, learn how your internet service provider can become high definition verified. So let's see. And then let me, let me, let me, I'm, I would read it. Up. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the picture and you can read for yourself. If you're one of our favorite internet service providers, then you can watch YouTube. Your customers can watch YouTube. We reward our favorite internet service providers for being our favorite internet service providers. I guess, I guess Kojiko wasn't one of their favorites. Uh, so that sucks. I mean, I can still use like <clears throat> YouTube and MP4. I can, I can just download the MP4s. Maybe I can use a MP4 downloader or a third party website that downloads MP4s, right? I can use that to watch YouTube. Uh, probably something similar for watching Twitch. YouTube's owned by Google. Twitch is owned by Amazon. United States repealing net neutrality, which means basically nobody has free speech or the right to assemble anymore, at least online. I was arguing with about someone and he's like, well, if you don't have internet, you can use Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> That was the dumbest argument yet. So, uh... <laughs> Anyways, um... Net neutrality, it's always been around since the creation of the internet. Net neutrality means... There's no fast lanes or slow lanes. Anyone can access any website they want. That's net neutrality. Um, Egypt does not have net neutrality. North Korea does not have net neutrality. Um, China kind of doesn't really have net neutrality and i mean if you want to download off an rt news server um your internet's going to be throttled there on february 28th if you wanted to watch a jimmy Dore show or rt news on youtube it would get throttled there'd be like way less than one fps and <clears throat> the video wouldn't load properly that was february 28th or maybe a few days after i the within a day or two that's bad, because videos are one of the ways that humans communicate, right? Uh, there are so many humans all over the place that we need ways to communicate um, that don't take, like, a, a three-month wagon trip to deliver an envelope saying, Hey, join our grassroots movement because politics is really corrupt. No, it's, it's better if we can just... Put a video on YouTube and and or have a a Facebook group, but this kind of stuff, this kind of like grassroots peer to peer social networking, it's gonna be a thing of the past. Um, <clears throat> kind of like car dealerships have a monopoly on selling new cars. Kind of like phone companies won't let you do ad hoc phone networking because if you want to do your banking, you need phone verification. But if you want to do texting, you can't use an ad hoc network. You can't use a third party Twilio network. You can't use a free SMS service. It has to be with a mainstream major mobile service provider if you want to do your banking just to verify that you're a real person. I'm a little bitter about that because I don't own a phone. Well, I do now because I want to do my banking, right? I don't want to go to the bank every time I want to pay a bill. 
So I need to get a phone plan with a major phone provider because they won't because the bank doesn't accept the third party providers, let alone ad hoc networks. Ad hoc network basically means community gives free unlimited phone and 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 texting because because like oh I have a, you have a satellite dish here's free free everything that's ad hoc. Phone providers don't like that. <clears throat> I don't think uh, TV and <laughs> internet providers like it either. In fact, um, if you try to choose your own, uh, if you try to pretend you're with a major internet service provider, you'll get arrested. I found out that while looking up the cheapest deals, and it's like, oh, that's illegal to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, well, um, so now I'm paying $10 a month. But, um, I got so off track. I'm so sorry. Um, YouTube is, is just, for that half hour today, just everybody got fucked over on YouTube. Excuse my, excuse my language. But you could not, you could load a video, but you could not watch it. I'm really sad now because we live in a dystopian society and today on, on February 28th, free speech and right to assemble were trampled on. That's what the repeal of net neutrality is, is an attack on free speech, an attack on right to assemble. And I know that the majority of people talking about free speech use it in a twisted double standard. <clears throat> but free speech basically means you can say whatever you want, and if saying it is illegal, like a death threat, then you get punished for that. But you're still allowed to talk, right? If if someone makes a death threat on Facebook, yeah, they can get arrested. Even if it's out of contact, even if it's a joke, they can still get arrested. But they're allowed to use Facebook. They're allowed to use YouTube. Um, they can get banned from the website, but they're not going to get IP blocked. They're not going to get blocked because they live in Iran. They're not going to. That's what free speech would be. Um, as long as you can prove you're a human, you're allowed to use the service. You can. If you if you keep spouting racist bigoted things, yeah, yeah, that, those those providers have a right to block you. But when most of the world uses YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch TV, then blocking political groups based on a political agenda is the destruction of free speech. That's why Net neutrality laws were in place. They're still in place in Canada. And right to assemble, freedom to assemble, yeah. <clears throat> like, if people aren't being bigots, if people aren't being offensive, but you have a group about, about atheism, or you have a group about environmentalism, or you have a group about animal rights, or you have a group about U.S. interventions and war crimes. And then suddenly nobody's allowed to watch your videos. Nobody's allowed to look at your uploaded photos. Nobody's allowed to... Or the, the subscribers can't see when you have new posts and new videos. That's bad. There's alternatives to that, like Steam it. There's alternatives to Facebook, like any PHP forum. <laughs> um, but it's frightening because the strength of democracy is people's ability to educate themselves. And without net neutrality, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think people 
will be able to access information. And by information, I mean like the fucked up shit that corrupt leaderships do to screw over other people. Whether it's the government repealing net neutrality, whether it's the military killing innocents by the hundreds of thousands. If people don't know about it, then there's no accountability. Uh, <laughs> someone was saying yesterday how, like, oh, this journalist is terrible because this government endorses them. And I'm like, yeah, but that government is protects its people and is about human rights and equality. I don't really mind if that government endorses someone. It's not really that messed up, right? If a government wants to hire a journalist, but I agree with the government's policies and I agree with the journalist's stances and the journalist is independent and not bought off, I don't really see the problem. But if, if someone's like, oh, someone's bought off by the U.S. government, then it's like, whoa, that's really corrupt because we know that that means they're going to be pro-war, they're going to be pro-oil, they're going to be pro any big industry like pharmaceutical or whatever, right? And they're going to be against the little people. That's what it means to be bought off in America. <laughs> but if you're bought off in like some democratic socialist society that's like pro-equality, right, where the government is like favoring the working class over foreign investors, then I'm like, yeah, so what if they support a journalist? That's like, I agree with everyone. I agree with their policies. So I don't, I don't remember the point I was going to make, but it was, it was something along the lines of uh, politicians need to be held accountable and, and, and leaders need to be held accountable. That's why I said leadership instead of government, because because we elect the politicians, but we don't elect the CIA officials. We don't elect the FBI officials. We don't elect the military generals or the private military contractors. Those aren't, those aren't elected. They're not accountable to anyone but money. The, the, the only thing they're accountable to is money. And maybe their boss. And their bias is like, what, Mike Pompeo? The... <laughs> What is it like? The CIA head is a torturer, and the previous one was like war criminal or something. I don't. Ah! It's so. It's like ah! Like 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 mental diarrhea. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah, they're not. Ac they're accountable to the president. <laughs> a con man. He was a con man and a fraud before he ran for president. Um, and was he democratically elected? I don't know. Maybe if, like, Hillary hadn't rigged the DNC and, like, economically, maybe if there wasn't, like, possibly millions of voters purged from rolls or having their, their ballot registrations flipped or, like, paper trails destroyed, like, these... Like what was it? New York admitted to election fraud. Um, other places admitted to election fraud, tossed out non-provisional ballots, and closed minority voting stations, like so that they couldn't vote against the establishment. Because who's a poor person gonna vote for? The person who supports poor people, or the person who supports fracking and? <laughs> Wars on Libya and r against Russia. Like, oh my god. Most people, like, most people deep down realize that murdering other innocents is bad. Like, that's why there's so many people against this war. Okay. Anyways, yeah. The freakiest part of today when I was when I was like, how come there's no sound on any of these videos? They're playing, but there's no sound on any of them. And I and I'm like, 
is it is it something wrong with my headset? So I so I so I start up some music. I'm like, see, my sound works fine, and the music was silent, and I was like. What? And my sound was not working, so I like I check, I check the plug, I start plug it in, I check the plug here, I just plugged in, and I'm like, okay, I'll unplug my headset and I'll plug it back in, and I did that, and the sound worked perfectly on the music I already have downloaded on my computer, but the microphone got cut off, and I'm like, oh my god, who did this? It was just the video recording device. I was so freaked out. It was just my OBS. When you plug it out and plug it in again, you have to do a new instance because maybe it's like, I don't know, a different... I don't know. It, it identifies it differently. So <laughs> I was so scared. I'm like, who is sabotaging my computer? I mean, maybe someone's sabotaging my computer, but it's not the microphone because microphone, the microphone works now. I, I just have to edit my OBS and do a new instance or restart my OBS. That's my recording device, right? But I was so freaked out. Um, and now YouTube works, right? I can play the video. Yeah, I, it works. It works. And Twitch.tv a minute after, it works. It works. But that it's legal for someone to block an eye... ISP or an IP for any reason, any reason, because, because, because an intelligence agency says they're pointing out our war crimes, they're pointing out classified information, they're a threat to national security, like the, the CEO of the Iranian bank, he's a terrorist because he switched the foreign exchange from US dollars to Euro. And that makes him a terrorist. So, I mean, I guess if you want to watch any videos about Iran, like, oh, that's a threat to national security because you're now involved in terrorism if you want to follow their economy, right? I'm, con I'm curious about the economy because Bitcoin is worth twice as much there as it is in Canada, but you can't sell there because Iranian banks won't let you and foreign exchanges uh, won't let you. So... Profit lost. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you go, White House sanctions. I think the price of Bitcoin is going to skyrocket because <clears> the <throat> only reason to drive the price down is so you can buy cheap, right? So I think the big investors, like the Wall Street firms and the billionaires, now is when they're buying Bitcoin. I, I suspect. Or gold. Because uh, the U.S. is dealing with hyperinflation by forcing everyone to buy oil in U.S. dollars. That's why Libya got toppled. That's why Syria got destabilized. That's why Somalia, um, there's an intervention there because there's oil. That's why Venezuela is getting destabilized because there's oil. So... <clears throat> This global oil monopoly is how the U.S. dollar stays strong. Otherwise, all that money that the White House print and the Wall Street print, all the money they print and lend to each other and then lend out like 10 times as much, right? Because you only need a 10% reserve for the bank. So the bank can print or White House says, hey, bank, print some money. And it does. And then the bank can lend to another bank, and that bank keeps 10% of that and lends out 90%. And then this other bank lends out 90% of that, and this other bank lends out 90% of that, and it all is a house of cards that collapses. Oh, oh, the, the gesticulation. Yes. It's a house of cards. So the U.S. is struggling to deal with hyperinflation. And, I mean, Europe's economy, same thing, right? So the euro, the U.S. dollar, they're fucked. So people are investing in gold and Bitcoin. But 
people want to buy Bitcoin cheap, and that's why the price of Bitcoin crashed. And I'm not selling. I'm not panicking because I know the price is going to skyrocket. As soon as as soon as the big investors have had their have gotten all the Bitcoin they want from these panic sellers, then the price is going to go up. That's why everyone's holding on to their Bitcoin. Also, buy high, sell low. That means never sell at a loss. That's why I'm holding on to my Bitcoin. All of my money right now, my mom had like two life insurance plans and I got money from them. I invested it all into Bitcoin. Right now, I'm at like a 20% loss, right? What's the price right now? It keeps like ugh, jumping by 10% margins every day. Oh, now it's like a record low. So I'm at like record in the red, but I'm not going to sell. Because uh, cryptocurrency works so much better than all these banking systems because it's cheaper to send money. Uh, it's more anonymous. And what does the CIA value above everything else? What does the deep state value above everything else? Anonymity. Because I'm, I look to the side because I'm trying to remember. There was a, there was a program that the, the CIA made, right? No, that, that the NSA made. It was like, not heartbeat. Thin thread? Was it thin thread? And uh, all of the spies were accountable, right? Because their superior could say, oh, this person was who was spying on that phone. But now, there's n it's completely anonymous. Everyone in NSA is completely anonymous. Everyone in the CIA, which the NSA gives their spying data to, completely anonymous. Anyone can spy on anyone. And you'll never know. Hi! So, um, that's, uh, well, maybe I'm a little paranoid. I don't have a big following, so who would waste their time spying on me? But still, the algorithm, like, if you say Russia, then that's, like, one tick on the algorithm, right? I want to eat food. I'm hungry. All right, peace. Uh, reminiscible out, and I, that is a Canadian salute, or with the left hand. Canadian salute is kind of weird. Anyways, um, I'm going to eat food. I encourage you to eat food as well. Eating food is important for a healthy body and, and, and satiation, the lack of hunger. It also tastes good. And while you're at it, uh, I recommend you choose non-animal products because uh, just like people get tortured in Guantanamo, animals get tortured in uh, the slaughterhouse, in factory farms. Crabs can't go into shock, so that's the most painful chickens they can get plucked and boiled alive uh, you can stop watching now if you're like freaked out um pigs they get brutalized and raped cows get raped too so they produce milk and oh the chickens get their necks snapped but sometimes it doesn't work properly so they just get thrown in the in the boiling water and that's so that their feathers soften up and you can pluck them but i think they drown before they get plucked but it's still not a good way to go because, I mean, who would want to die in boiling water with their neck broken? It's not a nice experience, right? As long as, as long as blood is flowing, you can live, right? As long as there's still oxygen, you can think and experience pain. Even if there's like, I think even if there's not oxygen, um, there's like lactic acid. And you can, like, still be conscious with lactic acid, maybe? I don't know. Because after someone's head's cut off, their eyes can still move, their expression can change. That's documented. Um, obviously, they can't talk because you need air for that. But, I mean, how long it takes someone to die? I don't know. Should livestock be euthanized, maybe, instead of murdered? Like, like, what is, what is it with cows? There's like, you know, like Frankenstein, they, they just get a drill through the head, like a metal drill goes straight through the head. There's a loud beep sound and 
I don't want to drill through my. I don't want anyone to stick a hot metal rod through my head and like hang my corpse from it. That would be kind of sick. And that's why I don't eat meat. I wouldn't want my children kidnapped or to get raped so that I produce milk. I think women produce more milk than men, but um, I wouldn't want a woman raped. So I don't want a cow raped just to produce milk and then have their kid kidnapped. So unfortunately, I don't eat cheese or milk. Or even milk chocolate. Or even brands of Nutella which have milk. Brands of chips which have milk ingredients. It's it's like, mmm. Damn. See some nice noodles? It has eggs. I'm not buying your fucking eggs. I'm not buying your milk or cheese. Because I, uh, I see animals as people. Um, and I want to live in a society where other people value my well-being. Therefore, I'm going to value everyone else's well-being. Obviously, there's evil people. You know, the, the murderers need to be stopped. But hey, if you're a murderer, if you pay people to kill animals, what can I do? I don't want to get arrested. I don't want people mad at me. So it's not like I can take any violent action. I just have to sit here as a pacifist because <laughs> blowback, you know, pacifism is the best because violence has a lot of blowback and a lot of risk. So, yay, pacifism. So, so you'll hear all the vegetarians going, yeah, isn't it great? You'll feel great being vegetarian because they know there's no laws protecting animals unless you're a pet, like, Pet cat, maybe. Pet. Pet cats have it good. They can still get neutered, but other than that, you know, you're not allowed to, like, starve them or, you know, or I guess, no, I guess pet horses, you're allowed to, like, starve them and break them in. But, like, actually, yeah, you're actually encouraged to do that with dogs. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. When I had pets, I'd just, like, let them out of the cage whenever, like, whenever it's not nighttime and time to sleep, right? If I'm asleep, then I put them in the cage. If I'm not asleep, I leave them out. That's, that was my motto. And had a big apartment. They could chew up the wallpaper or poop anywhere they wanted. But I had, them t I had my bird tamed. I'm like, poo-poo, and he would go poop. And, and so then I didn't get poop on my head. I didn't get poop on my shoulders. I didn't get poop on my... Com okay, I got a lot of... I got a lot of poop on my computer, but still. Because <laughs> that's where the heater is. You know, the cathode ray monitor? All the poop on top. Because they want that nice the nice heating. And and the my laptop, the heater just got blocked. Because cause he wants... That's where he wants to cuddle. Oh, my bird. So cute. He's dead now. Um, so yeah, uh, economy is screwed and uh, freedom of speech, right to assembly, that's screwed. Therefore, democracy is screwed. But hey, for the moment, my internet service provider lets me watch YouTube. Therefore, why should I care about anyone else's, right? I can watch YouTube. Why should I care if anyone else gets banned for living in a different country or having a rural internet service provider that doesn't pay massive fees to YouTube or someone who makes political videos about politics? Oh, God forbid. Politics, a journalist, a journalist who watch. You know what? If you cannot find stuff on Google, I recommend DuckDuckGo.com. If you cannot find stuff on YouTube, I recommend Steamit.com, because that's where the independent journalists are going. That's uh, that's where the journalists are being forced, herded, because you cannot upload political content to YouTube now. It's just not safe. At some point, the 
the orwellian censorship shall come crashing down and uh but hey youtube's not the only site that makes videos oh my gosh yeah it's a it's a dystopia out there and uh whether you choose to give a fuck is up to you leave your comments in the comments I don't, people this is where people are like subscribe but like i'm not gonna get subscribe i don't even hey it's my girlfriend that's a nice outro it's like who cares about subscribers i'm not gonna get famous um but my girlfriend she's awake so uh... If you're watching this, thanks. I appreciate the support, the interest, you know. Feel makes me feel important. Thank you. <laughs>